University of Maine Cooperative Extension helps farmers and food producers bring you the local foods you love. These are the stories of the families who are growing Maine. Well, I got started a long time ago when I was a kid, when I was in grade school, um, I lived in Kansas. I lived in Topeka, so it was an urban environment, but the, uh, my best friend lived two doors away, and um, his grandparents uh, had homesteaded a farm, and for probably three or four years, I went out there every single Sunday. I planted a seed, and something I always wanted to do, I pursued a different career. Years later, that uh, idea of being a farmer was just always there and it's something I wanted to do. One of the things that I think really helped us um, a lot was not trying to uh, reinvent the wheel. And by that I mean there's plenty of farmers uh, out there in the community who have been doing this a long time. In particular there's there's one person, his name is Fred Sherburn, uh, who's a was a dairy farmer, had a farm in uh, Dexter going back generations, and he, uh, he just intuitively knows stuff, and he's been, I guess, pretty much a mentor um, to me, to us, um, about a lot of stuff. I call him all the time. He comes over, and um, it makes sense. He's, he's been great. If you were irrigating strawberries or something, to have the steel out here because you're going to... Um, yeah. My dad used to say that between our house and his in-laws, there were 27 farms. In that same route now, there's one farm selling milk, uh, a commercial dairy farm. I, I think I had put an ad in the paper you know, that I would do some consulting, uh, pasture management, fencing, uh, homesteading, any of that type of thing. Had some beef animals and had some dairy replacements. We could do all sorts of that. And he happened to pick it up and Gave me a call. So it, it's the resurgence of farmers coming back to the land, however they do it, vegetables, animals, or otherwise. It's, it's really not feeling for me to see that happen. Did um, horseback riding every summer for years. I always wanted to have a farm. Every day is different. Nothing's ever the same. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely everything, driving the big tractors and playing with all the animals. Getting up at three in the morning to go bottle feed a calf. I just, I like it a lot. Yeah, he moves them sometimes up to three times a day, just from pasture to pasture. And then Logan, my son, chases them. If we're going long distance, he can get them turned around in no time. It's crazy. It's not really that hard. When they get out, I'll chase them back in sometimes. Do you ever think about how other kids don't get to see that? You know, that live in cities and Not stuff? Not really. I'm just having too much fun here. My fear was that he would get a few cows, go over the winter with them, and not want to do it anymore. Figure out that was too much. Um, that didn't happen. But he seemed to have a passion. But, you know, the risk is it'd be like, you know, whoa, I did something wrong, I'm not good at this. And to get the kind of, um, our customers telling us how good it is. We have to live up to that quality standard um, all the time. The reason I move the cows two or three times a day is mm -hmm. to keep that standard up there. I think there might be opportunity beyond just, you know, our land in terms of uh, uh, other farms that are around here aren't using their uh, fields as well that we could expand that. I think the customers are for us are there. We could certainly do, um, you know, 50 to 70 um, head of cattle and that would feel great. We know so much more than we did a year or two years ago. I mean, we were just newbies, naive, didn't know uh, about much of what we were doing. And, and now we're still new, but we know a lot more.